tamponade. So cardiac tamponade is when the intrapericardial pressure builds up so high due to pericardial effusion that it starts to affect cardiac function. We have to remember that the fluid buildup which is occurring in the pericardial space is being contained quite well because of the outer fibrous layer of the pericardium. So we have reduced contractibility of the ventricles and then the chambers start to collapse which prevents the appropriate filling of the heart chambers and overall results in reduced cardiac output. There are three classic signs of cardiac tamponade and these are called Beck triad. The first is hypertension and that's because of reduced cardiac output because of less blood going to the heart. The second is elevated jugular venous pressure and that's because of less blood entering the atria because less is going through the tricuspid valve to the ventricle. So there's a buildup of pressure in the superior vena cava and the corresponding jugular vein. We also have a muffled heartbeat due to the buildup of pericardial fluid. So the heart which makes the typical lub-dub noise, this heartbeat sound is going to sound muffled due to the fluid buildup. Other typical symptoms of cardiac tamponade include shortness of breath and abnormal pulse. In addition to the typical symptoms of cardiac tamponade, to confirm the exact diagnosis, ECGs could be done which shows sinus tachycardia, low voltage QRS and electrical alternans, but most commonly echocardiums, which are a type of ultrasound. That's usually done to help confirm the diagnosis and it can help show the exact location and the amount of fluid buildup. The treatment for cardiac tamponade includes oxygen support and a procedure called pericardiocentesis, which involves inserting a needle through the skin into the pericardium and draining the fluid.